What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Jang Zoe YouTube video. Now today we finished the challenges for the Hidden Gem 92 overall pack. I'll go over the challenges really quickly. We did it on stream, uh, but I'll go over them really quickly and show you what they were. Uh, and as always, is it worth it? Is this challenge worth your time uh, completing to get a 92 plus overall pack? In my opinion, uh, absolutely this one is but we'll have a look what we get out of it anyway so first things first they released the Dunktober packs uh, and then they've got the Dunktober in my team challenge as well so there's these challenges here that we did I did most of these last night and the bottom two here we did on stream uh, they were pretty easy like as you can see score two fast rate points and make one dunk with a player like, I did all these in like these the, the first lot except for the bottom two we did them all in maybe 45 minutes, half an hour if even. Then I just finished off the last two. So definitely, definitely worth your time. Uh, these ones here, the Dunktober for the D Dunktober Deluxe Packs. We've got three of those to open up. Uh, then they had the Dunktober in my team. So they had uh, point guard, make 10 dunks with a point guard, make 10 dunks with shooting guards, make 10 dunks with small forwards, power forward centers. The beautiful part about it was if you had a card that was a center slash power forward, and you got 10 dunks with him, that counted for both the power forward and the center position. And same goes for all the other positions. You just had to use one player. You got two lots done at a time. Super easy, super fun to do. Uh, you had to get 50 points, assists, and rebounds with Dukes of Dunk players over multiple games. So that was the set they released last time. The Dukes of Dunk, like the Pink Diamond Zion and that. Pretty easy to do. Uh, done that really quickly. Then uh, 50 points assist rebounds with Dunktober players. Super easy again once, once like I did it in, I did all of these in the last two hours on stream. So a couple of hours to do it. The hardest part was to get the 500 points assist and rebounds over multiple games. But once again, did it on stream, didn't triple threat boards. So you could have easily done it on like a domination game, something like that would have been easy. Um, but yeah, so we've done that. So it's time to go over here and have a quick look at the cards that we've got from it, or oh, not the cards, sorry, the packs that we got, because we did get a few. Dunktober events first, because it's, it's the event, it's what we're doing, so, you know, I've seen people pull some um, player cards, but at the moment it's pretty much been, yeah, bronze, things like that. For me, I just sent it all to the auction house. Any profit you can make is good. Uh, Dunktober event, here we go. Uh, what's that? That's a silver off-ball pest. Okay, so I don't mind things like that. Um, because, you know, it's all profit. It all adds up at the end of the day. Would I want something awesome? Yes. But, f like, you literally get one of these after every win. So, um, I don't mind badges. Badges, definitely, because you can sell the badges for uh, more than, you know, what you can get a coach card. Not a coach card, a playbook. Oh, we got a gold. Is it a gold badge card? Oh, gold Wally Zerbiak. Represent. Let's go. Seize. Celtics. I mean, not Celtics. Cleveland Cavaliers. Wally Zerbiak. I mean, Zerbiak did play for Celtics for a while. That's why my mind sort of went there. But uh, Cleveland Cavalier legend Wally Zerbiak. Really enjoyed Wally Zerbiak when he played with Cleveland. I'll take a gold card any day of the week. Especially Gems of the Game out of a Dunktober event pack. I'll definitely take that. Uh, then next up we get... Another bronze. Injury card. Uh, do I have any injured players? No, I'm just going to quick sell that because I never use the injury cards. I've got enough of them as it is. We've got a few more to go. Another Dunktober. Bronze. Blue ball. Okay, we've already got a ball, so I'll send that one to the auction house. Sometimes they sell for 500 something like that. Um... But let's go here. Dunked over event. Pack. Another bronze. That's silver off ball pest. I don't have the off ball pest. There's one card. I can't remember which card it is. The one that sells for like 4 or 5k. This is a few that sell for a little bit. Here we go again. Another injury card. Once again, I'm just selling it straight up because I don't want it the hassle of selling a bunch of injury cards. So we've got. Two more Dunktober events, three Dunktober Deluxe packs, uh, a Hidden Gems card, a Gems of the Game card, then our 92 plus overall Hidden Gems. Realistically, we want 
small forward out of that, or a point or a shooting guard. Actually, I would take a point guard that can that's a bit taller than the point guards that I got, or that is a little bit more aggressive, can get to the rack. That's what I, that's what I'm looking for. Here we go, another bronze, eighty three Clippers court. We must already have that. Send court to the auctions. Uh, last Dunktober event card. Now we'll probably get heaps of these over the weekend because uh, yeah, you get one for just winning any game mode. But I wonder if you play like a full game. Rise Up Badger, that could go for a little bit, I'm not sure. I wonder if you play like a, a showdown game, if it's worth more. Alright, so Hidden Gems. We'll start with Gems of the Game card. We'll start with the Gems of the Game card because yeah, who knows what you're going to get out of this. Usually golds, as we get a gold. But I'll take a gold. Corey Kispert. Do we already have him? I think we might already have Corey Kispert. No. All right, then we're going to go to the hidden gem. Or should we hold the hidden gem to last? No, we'll, we'll do the hidden gem now. We'll do the hidden gem now. Could get lucky, but most likely a gold card. Yep. A gold hidden gem. Josh Richardson. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, all these kinds of cards are good for your collector level. They're also good for doing exhibitions, um, but now we've got these uh, Dunktober packs, so hopefully, hopefully we can get lucky with a Dunktober pack and get a diamond. Man, if we pull a pink diamond out of this, that's insane. We get an emerald, okay, who's the emerald? Shade on Sharp. We do already have a couple of these, so we might pull some, um, we might pull some duplicates. Gold, uh, what is there gold here? Yeah, there is definitely gold here. Fred Jones, we, we use Fred Jones in our stream, so we definitely know um, that we've got him, but we can swap him from uh, the collection, send him auctions, get a little bit back for him. Uh, now, lucky last, so we've got an emerald, emerald, yeah, emerald, and a gold, and a emerald again. Don't be shade on shot. Dennis Smith Jones, I think we already have him as well, so. We can, I don't, we already got him locked in, so un unfortunately we just got to sell him. Alright, now the big daddy of them all, 92 plus overall hidden gem. Last time I wasn't super hyped when I first got, first opened the card. Um, this time, let's see if it's somebody we even know. So there's our diamond glow. My name is Bo, and you know. Okay, first up, Western Conference, 98 driving layup, okay. Small four is that Carmelo? Alex English, man. I'll take Alex English. I definitely will take Alex Alex English. I believe Alex English is the leading scorer in Nuggets history in the regular season. I think. Small four slash power forward. So we wanted like the small four because now we can run T Mac at the two. Uh, so let's definitely go and have a quick little look at Alex English. Um, yes, we do want to add him to the team. So yeah, that will allow us to sell Wiggins, I believe. So we'll take Wiggins out of the lineup and put in. Uh, actually, we need to move T Mac there. We'll take Wiggins out because we're going to sell him. So we'll place him with Alex English. Let's have a quick little look at Mr. Alex English here. He is a 94. So we did get the 94, the higher end, which is what we wanted. A six eight small forward, like you know what else like perfect type for the small forward um so all his inside stuff is holy crap he's got an 85 three ball and a 90 drive this is the card that i was looking for this is the card that i was looking for hell yeah 90 ball handling pretty good pass accuracy steals decent perimeter defense is elite uh, rebounding's good speed 93 speed with ball 87 agility 90 vertical 94 Holy crap, I mean, we couldn't have got much better card, especially considering what we were looking for. Uh, holy smacks. 18 gold badges, 4 Hall of Fame badges. He's got Posterizer, Dead-Eyed, Layup, Mixed Master, and Physical Finisher. Then the 18 gold badges, he's got Float Game, Slippery Off-Ball, Handle for Days, Unplugable, Challenger, Off-Ball Pest, Pick Dodger, Glove. Man, he's got so many good ones. Interceptor, Pogo Stick, 6-8 with, with Glove and Interceptor. Pogostick Paint Prodigy, Post Up Poet, um, Shifty Shooter, Versatile Visionary, so he can throw passes to me, Ankle Assassin, 
lightning launch, strong handle, on ball menace. That that's the one that sells. On ball menace sells. Um, he's got the alpha dog uh, badge trait, whatever it is. Um, what ones can be upgraded? Uh, don't don't even worry about that. Don't even worry about men. We could not have asked for a much better card there. Alex English, welcome to the team. Definitely the card that I wanted. Um, let's go and have a quick little shoot around with him. Because uh, last time we did this, uh, I was okay. I was pretty happy with, with what we what we got after I shot around with him and played with him. Um, where is it? Is it over here at home? Training hub. Uh, freestyle. Take this one in. Let's have a quick little shot. Now, having a really high three ball is great. But if... Or not really high, but a, a fairly high for for what we're looking for. Um, but if the shot is terrible, then the shot is terrible. What hot zones he has? Okay, all hot zones inside. And then over here on the left-hand side, pretty much left-hand side of the court is his bread and butter. Okay, the shot is... He leans forward into it a little bit. It's a little bit... It's a little bit off-putting. It's like he, he leans forward. Yeah, not, not the best shot, but probably... Splash. Probably have to get used to it. I mean, I'm not complaining. 100% not complaining. What about his dunks? Okay, just normal little dunk there. Okay, why do we have invisible balls? Um, okay, so his dunks, dunk package doesn't look like it's too crazy. But I'm not complaining. Like, he definitely can get up. What about his handles? Um, it's a little crossover. Oh wow, what's that one? That's a bit weird. Okay, I'm I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy. Once again, his hot zones are there, so his release is pretty quick. Because he, he leans forward when he goes up into it. It's sort of it's sort of a bit tough to figure out, but... Yeah, excellent. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we're getting it. We're getting it. Slightly early. Excellent. One more. With an actual ball. The fact that they still got, like, invisible balls here that you pass, pass with. Um... Okay, I'm, I'm, I am pretty happy with that. Thank you guys for coming in, watching, liking the video, and uh, subscribing if you haven't already. Um, I really appreciate that. We're trying to get to 1,000 subs, so if you're watching this video and you made it all the way to the end, hit that sub button because I really do appreciate it. And yeah, you know, round of applause for Alex English. The grind was definitely worth it. Um, was it worth your time? Yes, it, it will be worth your time if you do it. Getting a diamond card for free off 2K any day of the week is, is worth it, so definitely worth your time. Alright guys, thank you for coming in. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Peace.